Hey guys, new here gaming here. This video is going to be going over something that's been requested a lot, and that's how to make a text adventure game. Now, initially, I never planned for my VB tutorials to get as popular as they did. I made all those episodes in one batch and uploaded them over a day or two. Ergo, I didn't really have any more VB, uh, VB tutorials lately. Now, the thing with text adventures games is that they're usually made in a console window, and that's not what your average program is made in VB. So, I have to just go over in this first video what a console ap application actually is. So, more or less, console application is just an application without a UI that runs inside of a command window. And if you don't know what I mean by UI, I mean it's not an actual program program window. For example, if I was to make an, a calculator, the calculator itself would be, you know, the UI. Now, this is what it's actually running, something that pretty much resembles this. Everything that this, this is doing is programmed. And in order to do that, we need to create a console application and tell it exactly what we want the console to be thinking, or in another sense. So we're going to open up VB, and you want to go to New Project. I can discard that. And a new console application. Now, if you go ahead and run a console, you see it pop up and just go away. That's because it's actually running, and since there's nothing in here, it's like, okay, I can run. Nothing, I can close now. When you make a text adventure game, what you're more or less doing is just writing a bunch of text to the console and having a couple of choices here and there. And text-wise, I mean, I mean, like, coding-wise, it's just a bunch of if-then-else commands. Now, I'm going to just go over how to write to the console in this video because I think I want to just go over what a console actually is. Now, if I just write console dot uh, write line, I can put in parentheses and quotation marks because, you know, I'm telling you something specifically to write, so I need to put in quotation marks, hello world. This should write to the console a line that says hello world. And if we do that, it does but it automatically closes. And if you actually go through the video and pause it, as soon as that console popped up, you would see um, Hello World in there. So why is it closing, you ask? Well, as it's running, it starts here. It starts here. I don't know what that was. And then it's going to say, okay, I need a right line, Hello World. Then once it writes that line, it's like, okay, I can go on to the next line. Oh, I'm ending. I don't have to do anything. So I'm just going to close. That's more or less what it's thinking. So, in order for it to wait, we have to give it a command that it cannot just automatically do. For example, if we write console.readline, whoops, readline, and nothing in there, it's going to try read line of nothing, and therefore, it can't go on. So now if we run it, you can see it's actually going to be staying open, and it says hello world. So, this is what the console actually looks like. Um, you can type into it just like a command window, and that's pretty much all you have to know for the basics of a console. Now, later in this set of tutorials, I'm going to be going over how to read an input, how to ask it to give you, how to tell it to give you a, a list of things you can input, and how to respond to whatever input you choose. For example, if I wanted to say, you see a house, do you go in it or walk away? Then it'll be like, hit uh, type Y to go in or type N to go away. And then you want to say, okay, if you hit Y and hit enter, then text will come up, you enter the house. Or if you hit N and hit enter, it'll be like, okay, you walked away. Now what? So that's basically what a text adventure game is. And it's all ran through a console, and it's pretty, you know, pretty fun to code. It's not my cup of tea. I don't really like doing it because it requires a lot of organization in the code of how you want if then else else is to be. But that's how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna move on to the next tutorial, and in the next tutorial, I'm gonna cover over how uh, cover how to make the choices and how you can interact with them to make decisions in your game. 